it's one of the f funny things happening in in audio development. I came the occasion that a colleague from Z from Neumann um, visited the Norwegian broadcast, national Norwegian broadcasters, and they said, "Yeah, they were interested in these new transistor condenser microphones." Um, and this 12 volt AB powering is nice, but wouldn't it be possible? Um, they had a safety backup voltage system there at Norwegian Radio um, and TV, and they used 48 volt DC. Wouldn't it be possible to power microphones with that as well? And the colleague brought the idea back, and our colleagues here in Berlin picked up the idea and said, okay, 48 volts, that's nice. We could use that for polarizing the, that's much better than 12 volts. We could use that for polarizing the capsule. And okay, we don't need 48 volts for the circuit, but it's plenty and sufficient and made a circuit around that. And um, sent the first microphones to Norwegian radio and they were happy with it and ordered quite a lot of them. So first customers and first samples went to Norway in this case. And why 48 volt? Because the Norwegian radio happened to have 48, 48 volt backup system. So we, with a 48 volt system, we apply the plus for the 48 volts to both conductors. And we use the third connection, typically the shield as return. So we've got a closed circuit. Um, but regarding the signal conductors, um, both pins going into the microphone have the same voltage. And if we connect a dynamic microphone to it, it says, um, okay, I'm a coil, but I see a voltage, but it's 48 volts at both ends of the coil. So there's no current running through it. So dyna dynamic microphone won't be damaged or um, the diaphragm moved by this, applying this um, voltage. And so it was a compatible system. And then there was a very long discussion between different microphone manufacturers, different broadcast stations, and I think I've got over 120 pages of copies and literatures and letters going between um, the different institutions and the different manufacturers and trying to agree, okay, which powering system shall we use now? Both powering systems were standardized in Germany, um, but in the end, as history tells us, um, Phantom Power won because it was the more compatible version.